Hello, good evening, my darlings. Sorry, I'm still adjusting my camera. Give me one second and then it'll stop shaking, I promise. At least I hope so. I hope I can ma make this work and I hope you see me. I only just got home today, that's why I... Can you actually see me? Do you know what? I'm going to just hold it. I hope I won't shake too much. Hi, good evening. And welcome to this live training today. I'm Sibylla. Wild Spirits Coaching. And today I'm going to talk about, well, first of all, while I give people a, a chance to log in, it usually takes a couple of minutes for the notifications to go up and for people to actually tune in live. So in the meantime, I'm going to tell you what this is going to be about. So the training on Monday evenings, or at least it's evening here in Ireland, is always a kind of an expansion or a going deeper on that week's article in my weekly newsletter, Monday Sparkles which is published exactly 12 hours earlier on Monday morning in Ireland. And um, every week there are, there are special offers, there are uh, insider news. So if you're there, if you, um, if, you, if you subscribe to that, you get exclusive offers that nobody else gets. And you also get one main article every week. I just see the first people jo joining. Hello. <laughs> hi, hi. Uh, feel free to comment or ask questions in the, in the comments, uh, no problem. So uh, every Monday I publish this and the main article is also published on my website. So if you haven't read it this week, then don't worry, you can still, you can still read it later. But I suggest that you go and subscribe to Monday Sparkles because then you'll have the article well in advance of the Monday's training. Like I said, the training kind of builds on the article. So this week's article uh, was called um, Three Signs That You're Not As Happy As You Could Be. And I kind of wrote this from my own experience and also from my experience with my own coaching clients. Um, because being not as happy as you could be doesn't necessarily equal being unhappy. Um, it doesn't have to mean that you're terribly depressed or sad or, or, or not in a good place. Most people's lives just tick along. And they think that that's all right. And I told myself for years that that's the way it had to be. And it's only a lot later that I realized that no, our lives are meant to be really joyous and really blissful and really happy. And it's so easy to slip back into this kind of steady flow where nothing much happens. And it's, it, sometimes it takes true detective work to find out um, when you're starting to slip and when you're not as happy as you could be. So in the article, again, you can read it later. It's actually published on my website, wildspiritscoaching.com. So after the training, feel free to go there, click on the menu point blog, and it should be the last blog entry. Again, it's called three, three signs that you're not as happy as you could be. I'm not going to paraphrase the entire article now. I'll just tell you a couple of important points because this training to, tonight is called, um, What's it? What, what do I actually call it? Something with the happiness fix. Exactly. The happiness fix. So in the article, I, I mentioned three particularly um, significant signs, three red flags that might show you that you're not as happy as you could be. And in this training tonight, I'll give you three fixes for it. So one for each. The first point was food. And it's, again, this is something from my own experience. When I was, these years, when I was in a, in a bit of a withdrawal mode and, and had kind of withdrawn from my friends and I was working my job, I was making good money, I was outwardly happy and functioning, but there just wasn't much passion or laughter or love or ecstasy in my life the way it is now. And um, one of the symptoms of this happening was me eating a lot of junk food. Now, I'm not going to preach that you have to eat healthy all the time. On the contrary, actually. What I'm preaching, if I'm preaching anything in terms of food, is that you eat what's doing you good, what your body likes. Now, for me personally, this can, it can be completely different for you. I just speak from my own experience here. For me personally, if I eat a lot of junk food, it, I get really low in energy and really tired and really lethargic. So... When I, when I downsized my life and kind of started pursuing my passion, I naturally started craving whole plant-based, gorgeous, organic foods that give me lots of energy and that taste fantastic because they have such, an, such a strong natural taste and I absolutely love. I still like 
not so healthy food. I'm not an angel. Again, I'm not preaching anything here. So about once a week, I go and eat a sandwich. I'm usually not supposed to eat bread. It's something that sends me to sleep, as like I said. But about once a week, I go um, and have a sandwich somewhere with cheese, sometimes even bacon, although otherwise I, I, I eat mostly vegan. So again, I'm not, uh, I don't follow any particular school. But whenever I find myself craving these kinds of foods more than, say, once a week or so, it means for me personally that something's off because I'm starting to numb things. I'm going numb. I'm going, I'm, I'm starting to hide behind certain things. And that is a surefire sign for me. So what do you do when this happens? And my cure for that, my happiness fix for this kind of thing is self-care. And don't, don't just switch off now. I don't mean self-care in a general way. I mean quite um, specifically that you replace the food, the food fix with a different fix because the food gives you something. So instead of preaching, instead of going, oh, I can't eat that or I shouldn't eat that or this is a good food and this is a bad food, forget all about that. Forget it. Just don't beat yourself up even more because that's so counterproductive. Um, allow yourself to still step back and look at it and stop lying to yourself. Oh, I can't because in my office canteen, they don't offer fresh foods or I'm so stressed. I don't have time to cook. This is all the stuff that I told myself it, and all these are excuses. So don't lie to yourself and don't beat yourself up. Just look at it and think of something that could give you the same kind of feeling. For me, that was always a feeling of relaxation. I used the food to relax. Other people I know use food to as comfort. Other people use food to distract themselves from something. It's We all have our different food stories. By the way, that's not just women either. I talk to so many guys who say, yeah, I developed a beer gut when, when I wasn't doing what I, what I loved, when I was just trying to get myself to, through a dead end job with, with lots of hours and lots of stress. Other people stop eating and get thinner and thinner. That's not good either. So you have to find your pattern and identify that and then become a detective and spot it when it happens because it still happens to me sometimes. And then I immediately know that something is off instead of wasting time finding excuses or feeling bad about myself. And then I replace it with something else that feels good. You have to find out what gives you that feeling that this particular trigger food that you have gives you. For example, I have a friend who just loves taking a bubble bath on her own in the candlelight, just away from her family. She has three kids and she's quite stressed sometimes. She loves her family, but like everybody with a family, sometimes they get a bit much. So she tries to schedule that in and find time for herself and just read a novel in a bubble bath for half an hour. That's her bliss. Find something that is your bliss, some time of self-care. It can be a massage if you have the money for it, but it doesn't have to cost any money at all. It can be completely free. It can be a walk somewhere. It can be whatever, you know, an evening um, on the couch reading your favorite book. Find what works for you and use it. Now, the second thing, the second red flag that I that I mentioned was exercise. So when I start, when I stop moving, that means something is off. And most of us know that exercise is good. And I write in the article, again, read the article that a lot of people say, oh, I hate exercise, I hate moving. And then when they kick themselves into doing it because they know it's healthy, then they come to me and say, you know, it makes me feel so good. <laughs> and they're really surprised because they've completely forgotten that it's actually, it feels fantastic. So um, if that is the case with you and you're having a really hard time kicking yourself into action, once again, please don't beat yourself up. We're all lazy at times and it's not laziness. It's there's lots of things going on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Instead, I suggest do some small baby steps. So this is this is my cue for the second thing for the exercise thing. Baby steps. Don't think, oh, I have to run five miles in order for it to count. Forget that. Forget this threshold. And below that threshold, it doesn't count as exercise. It's rubbish. Everything counts. Everything other than sitting on the couch counts. Like take a walk, take a 20 minute walk, maybe a little faster than a stroll, but you don't have to run. You can just walk. Just if, increase your heart rate a little bit. And that is exercise. Think of things that you like doing that you don't necessarily think of ex as exercise. I'll give you an example from my life. I love dancing. I put on music at home, but nobody sees me. <laughs> I just boogie around the room here. 
and then I get really excited and then I get the next song and then I do some 80s songs and then I do some 70s songs and half an hour later I am disgustingly sweaty, completely out of breath and you know what, that's a workout. But I don't think of it as a workout. I think of it as having a lot of fun with music and dance. So what I'm saying is stop, um, take, take baby steps, stop beating yourself up, take really small steps and think of things that you don't think of as exercise. Just anything in motion, including a walk, counts. Now, that was the second thing. The third thing, what was the third thing? Gee, I can't remember. <laughs> um, I'll actually have to look at the, at the article in a minute. Come, don't worry, it'll come to me in a second. It'll come to me in a second. By the way, I just saw somebody else joining. So hi, hello. Food, exercise, and what was the third thing? I can't think of it for the life of me. Give me a second. I'll look it up. This is so funny. See, this is the this is the um, disadvantage of doing these things without a script. And I always used to do uh, the live trainings with a script, and it just was a bit stilted, and I didn't like it very much. Now I don't do them with a script, and I forget things. So give me one second. Here you go. So the third thing was oh yeah, social life. Oh, that is so important. So for me, when I start declining things that I actually like to do, when I start not going out, when I don't bother anymore, um, going to events that actually interest me just because I have to drive there or something, that is a surefire sign. Or if I cancel on friends that I actually love, and I do love my friends. And sometimes I, okay, first things first, sometimes we all need some time for ourselves and it's completely fine to just say, you know what, I've been really stressed and I've been really overstimulated. I want a weekend for myself or something or an evening for myself. That's completely fine. What I'm talking about is withdrawing a little bit from people. What I'm talking about is cancelling when you don't actually, it's something that you would normally perfectly love to do and you don't do it because you're kind of in hibernation mode and if it's longer than just a day or two or a weekend or something then you'll have to look at whether you're actually avoiding something or whether you're actually kind of stepping away from your own happiness and what I would suggest for that the best thing about that well it's a bit of um, it's a bit of a combination of the others and and that's so the first one Remember, the first one was the food thing and the antidote, the happiness fix, is self-care. The second one was exercise and the antidote to that is baby steps. The third one, the third point, is social life withdrawing from social life. The antidote to that is gratitude. Now, gratitude, you know, everybody uh, suggests that you should have a journal for gratitude and write down three things that you're grateful for every single day and stuff like that. I still recommend that. But I'd like to, um, and unfortunately, there's nobody there live at the moment. Otherwise, I would do it with you now, live. But um, I would uh, suggest to you that don't just write down things that you're grateful for. Don't just think of things that you're grateful for. The importance is to actually, the, the, um, the important thing is to actually f feel and experience the feeling of the emotion of gratitude. In order to do that, think of something and don't make it something that you think you should be grateful for. Like people with kids always think I should always be grateful for you, for my kids. And of course, everybody I know is grateful for their kids. But sometimes if they've just gone on your nerves all evening and you're just completely exhausted, then maybe that's not the best thing to think of. And it's okay. That doesn't make you a bad parent. Sometimes every parent I know wants to just murder their kids. And that's fine. That's normal as long as you don't actually do it. And um, or, this, or for their spouse or for, for something. Don't, don't be grateful for your good job, even if you have a well-paying job. If you just had a, 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 an argument with your boss or a co-worker and you hate the thought of going back in the morning. You don't have to force yourself into gra gratitude. Think of something that comes to you easily can be the sunshine, the good weather, or even the rain because it rains on your garden and now your garden is green again. Or it can be something really small, your health, or um, friends, or whatever is currently there, or your passion, or some success that you've just had. It doesn't have to be a big thing, but it has to be 
true for you right now and don't think you should feel gratitude for, for any particular thing. Just pick something that is close to your heart at this particular moment that just buzzes. And then think of that and relate to it with all your senses. Think of seeing it, hearing it, smelling it, feeling it and tasting it. And really get into that emotion of gratitude, this warm feeling in your heart. And it might take a while. You just need to visualize that for a bit. Don't force it. Just really let that emotion come up in you. Because it's not just about what you're thinking. It's about what you're feeling. And when you're feeling the gratitude, you kind of ground yourself in yourself and your own reality again. And that'll make you much more likely to be able to reach out again and connect to other people and, and bring your social life back online. Now, that was it for today. Um, I would like to say one more thing. I am increasing my prices. Now, don't be shocked. Um, it's it's okay. <laughs> so I'm increasing my prices for the for the a general 90 day program that I offer. But I also offset this by offering a very special um, VIP program, which is more than twice the basic 90 day program. And that'll be such good value. It won't cost anywhere near twice as much. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. This will go live at some point in the next week. So just stay tuned for it and um, it'll, it'll happen, it'll come. And um, if you want to stay on top of the news and get everything first and even get special offers and reduced prices, then definitely go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up for Monday Sparkles, the newsletter. And um, I'll see you, I hope I'll see you live or see some people live next time at this time on next Monday for the next live training. Thanks a lot. Have a lovely evening. Bye bye.